Do you want to know how to do that in Flutter? A good example, it's extremely simple and in this video Flutter app development series, you're going to be talking about that. Alright, even before you begin, if you like this channel or the Flutter content that I've been posting in this channel, do not forget to smash that subscribe button. Smash is more like a 2018 slang. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button so that I get notified and I make lots of content on Flutter and other programming languages. Alright, enough of the talking, let's go straight up and see how to do the shimmer effect in Flutter. Or even before it begins, uh, Shimmer Effect is a very famous effect uh, that just came up from the iPhone era where you have the slide to unlock button and it keeps on shimmering. This effect is really really an iOS type of an effect but you can bring that up in Flutter in a very simple way. The plugin that I'm going to be using is called a Shimmer plugin. Uh, how do you start using the Shimmer plugin? It's very simple. Go to your pubspec.yaml file here. pubspec.yaml file is nothing but it's going to be present inside your lib. Uh, it's, it's going to be present inside your Android, the package that you're going to create, it's going to be somewhere around here, it's, it's here. Go inside that, go to dependency section and add this shimmer 1.0.0, which is going to be the version that you're going to be using. Then do packages.get and once you're done with that, go back to the main.dart file or whichever file is going to be a main file and import this line. It, this line is going to be where you're going to get the shimmer class and once you have that class, it's going to be super simple. What do we have here? I usually, as usual, have the base app, the Shimmer Effect app that I've created. It's a stateful app uh, and a stateful widget. And I've also added some base things as usual. The scuffle is going to be my parent. The material app is going to be my uh, base parent. So how are you going to start with that? You go to your scaffold, you do child or oh, it's going to be app bar. You just create a simple app bar. Alright, once you're done the app bar, it's going to be our body. The body is going to be taking our main blunt of the force here. So we're just going to create the body here. And the body is going to have, a, say, a simple container. And let me hold a simple child in that. Another child inside that. And this is where we're going to be making sure of our class. Our class is going to be shimmer dot from color so the from colors method is going to give us the dur give us the ability to do that shimmer effect where our base color is going to be the dark color that you want to and the highlight color is going to be the color that you want to scroll on top of that the shimmer effect that you want to create it's really simple from here on just going to give my child here and the base color and highlight color are going to be two different parameters that i have to fill out i'll just go in this part Alright, I'm going to go in. I'm going to, for example, for now, create a simple text field. Let me call swipe. Oh my God. Unlock. This is going to be my file. And the next file is going to be the base color. Base color is going to be what I'm going to give. I'm going to have for now colors dot gray. And I'm going to give a base color of say. 600 so this is going to be my color this is going to be the highlight color that's going to go that's going to be uh, shimmering and this highlight color is nothing but the color which is going to be a little bit lighter in shade compared to the base color so that you can see the uh, shimmer effect very effectively so let me give the same color here as well i'm going to give a gray color again and uh, this should be fine this is a little bit lighter but let me give them some more lighter 100 100 should be fine and this should be 700 this, this seems to be fine for me all right let me make sure that the text is bigger in size let me have a uh, 40.0 way let it be Cool. I've, this is the application I want to try and see how it looks like. I'm going to run this application. My emulator is already running up. I'll go and wait for my application to run. Awesome. So this is this is how the application is looking like right now. I just added three lines of code and this is working perfectly fine. From here on, it's going to be really really simple. All I have to do is just change the child uh, base color and highlight color is going to remain the same. And the two additional attributes that are that are part of the shimmer is the duration attribute where you can control how fast you can 
you want the this thing sorry this is a period attribute i'm really sorry period attribute is going to take a duration as the class so you can adjust how fast the shimmer happens for example let me give a seconds of 5 and once i do that i run the application i can see for clear how slow it once it launches how slow it moves so you can see that it slowly goes the shimmer effect is slowed down and you can control that using the period attribute next is the direction direction is going to be nothing but which direction you want to want it to go it can take it takes the shimmer direction class ltr is going to be left to right btt is bottom to top right to left and top to bottom so let me give say a btt btt is bottom to top right let me do that let me do and run it again we we'll wait for that effect to change i'm really not sure if you can see see that effect effectively because it's going from bottom to top and we have a very small uh, height to play with and so the effect is not properly seen you can switch it up to right to left as well and it will still work perfectly fine all right we have done this and uh, what more is how you are going to create that simple list a type of an effect it's going to be really simple from here on instead of text here we're just going to play with some column and uh, some row value so that we can just get at what we want to get at i'm going to give a column and inside that my children is going to be a simple row initially row i'm going to put this row here i'm going to come cool children Great. Okay, I'm done with this. The shimmer effect is done. I just added some padding. I just added some. I did add some column row. All of those widgets to make sure this this looks fine. I'm dropping the link for the article where I've written this code. You can just take it from there if you want to. You can use it as a reference. And uh, that is how simple the shimmer effect is. And I hope this video is informative as well. And on that, you can watch me and catch me on a lot of these Flutter plugins going forward. And also check out my channel and my playlist that is coming up right in the top corner, so that you can understand the basics of Flutter and you know all this in interesting and useful UI plugins that you can watch and uh, use in your application as well. All right, guys, that's for the video. If, if this video is informative, do not forget to smash that like button and as well as. comment if you have any questions regarding this and uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that i get notified to make lot of such flutter content all right let me meet in tomorrow's video until then spark peace out have a great day make something happen bye bye